Thank you for checking out my second DJI Avada video. I'm flying this again at Jay Blanchard Park. I am using the motion controller and I was just really amazed how it just glided above the water. Because the motion controller, it you know, you're looking in the goggles and you see that you're close, but it just kept me above the water the whole time. I really liked this. And honestly, this was much faster, even in normal mode, than the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro that I had a little over a month ago that I wrecked. Can't wait to do a clip on that one. But um, what was really cool about this is it just glided around and it was almost like a mini airplane. Um, I know you can adjust so it's a rock steady so it doesn't shake like that or turn like that I believe. But um, just the picture is just really, really pretty. I can sell these. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, when you compare this to the GGI Mini 3 Pro, um, the stabilization is just way better for the video. However, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is a very fragile craft where the Avada is extremely sturdy. But I just enjoyed just gliding over the water without getting wet. <laughs> So I actually hit the fence at the end of this video and I was kind of disappointed because it cut off the video. It stopped recording before I even got down to the spot. I'm going to show you in a minute because I, it was actually my second pass. I did very little editing of this. I believe I did put it in sport mode one time. I was a little disappointed I still didn't go over like 30, 31 miles an hour, even in sport mode. I thought you could go like 60 miles an hour, so not quite as advertised. But um, it was really cool how it just spun around, just and the distance was pretty remarkable. Um, I mentioned this in my first video, that um, just the transmission was way better than any drone in the past. I like this part where I just took it down. I know there's not a lot of people that go in this particular area because the bridge is closed off down here, but it was just fun just doing that real quick. I think I might have had it in sport mode right there. But at this point, I hadn't really flown it up very high because with the motion controller, it's not very easy. I don't like when you let off the throttle and it just stops and the whole thing swings forward, but the camera is still looking there. Um, I mean, I like that the camera is stable, but if you're gonna see the drone as it swings forward, that's not very cool. They did that a couple of times in this video that I didn't clip out. And I clipped out a couple of them earlier. So this part, like I just flew over myself right there. But I was like, let me just see what it looks like coming into this little water basin down here. Now this is where I, I crashed it on the way back the second time. I flew super low and I hit the, I just barely clipped the fence because with the motion controller, I could not pull up on it quite as fast as I needed to. Um, not to mention, you know, when you have the throttle on, it's moving forward. Um, I think a regular controller, this would definitely be a way better drone to, to enjoy, but that was really cool. I mean, just to flip it around like that, to turn it, it was, it was really fun to, to be able to fly this around because it didn't make you feel like a cinematic 
approach it made it feel like you're in an airplane little small craft and just gliding around all this and being able to see it through the goggles just just made it so much better of an experience now a couple times i thought i would dry i'd fly it into these woods and i was like oh, i can't go back there and get it if i get it stuck so i better not do that But as you see, I just made a whole bunch of passes. It's almost like I took the same path. So, this drone would be the, the perfect drone because it is so solid and the goggles make you very easy to see what you want to see in the drone. Except for the controller. Controller with the motion controller was horrible. So at this point, I was getting a little fur away. I was looking at it, I think I was around 18% um, battery. You know, even though it's all in the goggles, to be able to fly and look at all the different things all around, I mean, maybe I would get it adjusted to it if I flew it more. But see how it swung forward again when I let off the throttle? It was pretty cool. The motion controller is cool for making turns. It's not cool for extending and, and descending. It's not cool because you can't pan around. But I love this part where I do a little corkscrew down and I was like, like let me, maybe I should fly over the basketball court. But it was, just, it was just fun and exciting just to glide over the water. And you know what? Even though it was pointed kind of in the middle, it didn't seem like it was going to hit the water. And it didn't like pull up unless I actually pulled, you know, pointed it up. I felt like I had it pointed down just a little bit. But it never really wanted to go into the water, so I was happy about that. So we're getting close to the end of this clip. Um, I'm just amazed that it cut off like like 500 feet before I clipped the fence. <laughs> the drone survived. The drone was in good shape after I clipped the fence. Um, so right about here, it said, return to home, battery is low. I think I was down to like seven or eight percent and and then I stopped it because I wanted to fly it back myself yeah see it did the return to home and it spun around it was going to take me back I'm like no I'm going to fly it back myself I know where I'm at because that little right there in the middle of the screen that's where that little water basin is so what I did is I flew it down super super low to the water basin and I didn't pull it up quite fast enough and I clipped the fence right right like 50 feet from where I was sitting but thank you for watching please like share subscribe appreciate you